This is a video uh, to help you uh, replace the screen on this Acer Aspire model 5740, 5740. Uh, first thing we're going to do is flip over the computer. After making sure it's turned off, take off the take out the battery. Pop the battery off. I'm going to open it back up. First screen is first step is to remove the four screws that hold the screen in. They're the here, 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 and here behind the rubber stoppers. There are two rubber stoppers in the middle here. They do not have to come out. They're not holding in the screen. So it's just these four ones around the edges. So you can pop off the rubber the grommet, rubber stopper on them, and there's a little felt screw. So we'll remove all four of those. So after you take the uh, four screws out, the next step is to remove the bezel around the screen. Uh, it's arguably probably going to be the, maybe the, the, the toughest part of the job. Your nails, I started it right at the corner and just kind of pry it open. Um, it was tough to get at first, but as soon as you get one of the little clips undone, you'll hear it pop. And then it's much easier after that. I worked my way around. Uh, it's the first one that's really sticky. Um, if you use maybe a, a small tool here, a wooden tool I used uh, that has a, a sharper edge on it, uh, maybe that helps get in, but I did most of it just with my fingernails, and it's probably not a good idea to use very many tools. So uh, as soon as you get it popping, you'll hear it go, and then it's much easier after the first one. Carefully work my way around all the edges, all the way down. Um, make sure you get the very bottom as well, clips on the very bottom. And there's actually even clips on the bottom that as soon as you can get this at the top and the edges, you can try to fold it forward and use your fingers to pop out the bottom like such. Right at the very top up here, one, there's a hole here, two, three, four, there are slightly smaller screws, or even smaller than the uh, previous ones you took out, so I had to get a smaller screwdriver because my one was too big. Make sure you have something to keep them in because they're all quite tiny here, which is um, what holds the screen itself into the frame. Once those four screws are out, you can try to remove the old screen by pulling it forward. There'll be in the back here the uh, webcam um, wiring, so just work your way down. It's uh, pretty sticky, so just work your way down and unstick that, which allow you to uh, pull the screen right down. And now you can see that webcam. You can see the uh, webcam uh, uh, cable here and the tape that's on it. There's some more tape that has to come off, so you remove that. On this side is uh, the wiring, the cable connector, the pin connector that uh, uh, is the cable, but the connector from the, the wiring into the screen itself. There's also some tape holding it on. Remove that tape and remove the stickiness, which should allow you to gently, carefully pull that connector out. Comes out very easy once you get the tape out. Just pull it straight out, straight back towards the screen. You can fold that up, and that's your old screen right there. Put that down. Grab your new screen. The uh, protector on the front. I will leave it on here. I believe I'll leave the plastic on. You can also leave. Uh, I'll leave this extra plastic on my keyboard. You can use a uh, tea towel or something soft as well to protect it. Make sure you have something protecting your screen. Don't lay it right onto your keyboard without some kind of protectant. Lay it down flat just like the other one was. Line it up and then go and put the connector back on. Once it lines up, it goes on pretty easy. You can hear it snap in just a little bit. Looks like it's good now. I'll put that tape down that was already there to help keep it down. Keep the connector in place. Fold the tape back down to the screen. Let's 
plastic here. Let's move that out of the way. Now it'll allow me to fold that tape down, trying to get it just nice and flat and flush. Make sure the wires are that were underneath, a little black wire here, keep it underneath. To fold it up a little bit to uh, stick the rest of it. Can't really stick the webcam on until you fold it up a little bit. The frame into the picture is my protective covering come off, so be careful with that. Okay. The wiring doesn't look like it moved at all. It's flush there, looks pretty good. So I've uh, put those three screws back in, the side here, here, and here. Uh, the top ones aren't pretty easy. What you can do is uh, fold out or pull out the metal frame a little bit just so your screwdriver can fit in easier because it's kind of tight. Just a couple millimeters to get those two in. Uh, the bottom one was a little bit tougher. The um, I've turned the computer on just to test here as well, so it looks like the new the new screen is 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 working good. I also noticed that uh, the uh, protective sheet here that came with the screen, the tape that was on it, actually folded in and around the screen. So before you uh, screw your screen in, what you should do is uh, keep it on. I recommend keeping it on while you're plugging your connection the connector, the, the wiring into the screen, um, but then uh, before you flip the screen up uh, or before you put it up all the way into place, uh, take the, the, the protective film off so the tape comes off easy and then you can push it right back into the frame and then you don't have to worry about the, the, the tape that might be hard to get off on the edges. Once it's up there, be extra careful with your screwdrivers because uh, it will obviously scratch very easily um, and then you can put your four screws in or three in my case. So I've done the three screws. Uh, I have flipped the computer over carefully because uh, um, I don't have all the screws in so it's a little bit wobbly now. I put the battery in just to test it before I put everything back together again. The screen looks uh, great. It seems to be working fine so I will power it down and uh, the next step will be to uh, put... Okay, so I've just laid the bezel back on. Make sure the screen is fully open gently. Lay the bezel in, the clips down first, the hinges first. Everything seems to line up quite good. Start applying a little bit of pressure. See if those clips are lined up where they're supposed to be. You can hear them. Hear them clicking in. Put the uh, four screws back in to hold the bezel in. After those other little screws, these ones seem much bigger. So just take your time. Nothing was particularly hard. Be gentle with it. These rubber pads just stick on, they're sticky. Good. And there you go, back in business. Good luck.